think we're live now. It's good to be here live again. Yeah, I think I think we're up here finally. Um, I'm gonna light our candle to start with, and um, to remind us that God is always with us. And if I can get it to light, it'll be my trick. Well, as we start, I need to give a shout out to my good friend, Wayne Street, because when he was in Jerusalem, he went into old Jerusalem down on David Street and thought about me and went and uh, bought me a t-shirt. And uh, I need to show it to you uh, because it is, um, it is some kind of ugly. And um, it, uh, it is, uh, see, it says some. Um, I don't know what it says because I didn't I take think Hebrew. Alabama and roll tide. Yeah, isn't that sad? That's what we think. Look at that. <laughs> and and Wayne just out of the goodness of his heart thought I, I needed this. And um I think it's the ghost of my grandmother haunting me. And um so I decided to put my Duke hat on today and wear my good Auburn jacket. Yeah, okay, so Wayne, I love you. Thank you so much He's for watching. the gift. He's watching today. Yeah. And um <clears throat> Roll Tide Shalom. So, <laughs> saying that, <laughs> I will start off easy and uh, sing a little of this little light of mine. Here we go. This little light of mine, I'm going to shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Yeah. 
sanctuaries for your spirit and we pray that your love is strong in our lives we pray for your guidance as we continue to follow our callings and live out who we are we pray oh God for goodness in this world and not just difficult times. May your prayer of healing be offered throughout this land, throughout our world. May the coronavirus go away. May you rid us all of it. We pray especially for those who've lost loved ones. We especially pray today for the Shuck family. We pray for the life and the memory of Dick Shuck. And we pray for his family as they learn to say goodbye and grieve and mourn his lossing and move him for move move forward in their lives with comfort and strength. We pray for our country. 
that she may not be divided, but that she may be unified, united together. Finally, O oh God, we pray for our church, that the church may live within us, and that they may remember, that all of us may remember who you are and our calling to live out your love. So lead us today. Help us shine our light. And let us refuel with you. In your name we pray. Amen. Making sure he wasn't going to play another song there. Um, so, Ron's already shared his shirt, which some of you may have missed if you hopped on late because there's a lot more people. I'm just going to show him again. It's pretty cool, although you can't see the A there. <laughs> Wayne Street brought him back, uh, brought that back to him from Israel. Um, yeah, <laughs> from uh, what I believe is the Alabama store in Jerusalem. I think he told me. So. Um, he also brought us this little lamp, which you can see the wick there, and it's made out of clay, and I just love it. I, I told Ron I don't have anything to put in it, or I would have lit it instead of our candle today. I need to get some oil to put in there. But um, that seeing this lamp made me think of several passages from the Bible that talk about uh, lamps and light. There's the parable of the ten bridesmaids who have all have a lamp and some of them run out of oil in the middle of the night and um, miss the bridegroom. But the, the favorite passage about the lamp is, my favorite passage, is from Matthew 5. Um, it's just verses 14 through 16, which I'm going to read to you. You might even be able to recite it from memory. You are the light of the world. A city built on a hill cannot be hid. No one, after lighting a lamp, puts it under the bushel basket, but on the lampstand, and it gives light to all the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. And um, I just, I love that verse, and this lamp is is a reminder about letting our light shine. Um, but you have to do some things. You have to keep the wick trimmed. You actually have to light it. And it has to be filled with oil, which uh, Ron's words in his prayer made me think. You said something about being uh, fueled. 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 Yeah, I was thinking about the lamp. Yeah. That, that, and I hadn't thought about the image um, that when I, because when I think about shining Christ's light, most of the time I think about it as reflecting the light of Christ. That we don't, the light doesn't originate with us, but it comes from God and we reflect it back. With the oil lamp, it's the oil that's needed along with the wick to, to, to light, to cause light. And so for us, um, having that uh, oil is important. Sorry, my phone is getting a phone call. <laughs> I'm getting confused there. So the, so the oil we need is, is the love of God in our lives. But I just wanted to make that, uh, read that verse as a reminder in this time that it feels so divisive and so um, angry. People just being upset with each other that, that the best thing we can do is shine our light, is be a great witness for Christ, is to reflect God's love and um, care with, with everyone else. And so I would just remind you to shine your light because your light is awesome, um, because it's the reflection of Jesus's love. And I pray that, that today you can do that in some way, that you can show God's love and grace in an amazing way, with, particularly with those who are in need of some light um, right now. Our world needs a lot more light in it. So I hope you can be Christ light in this world now. So, um, let's say a prayer together. God, thank you for your light and your love that fills our lives and that 
we can be reflections of that to others. Help us to be fueled up, to, to be filled with the oil of your love and grace so that we might truly be a light that shines that grace to others. Show us the ways in which we can, can in dark situations, in times that feel divisive and hard and angry, that we can truly be your light that brings love and hope to others. In Jesus' name, amen. Play another song? I am. Okay. Oh. Right. That went away. share a couple of things. One is um, Kim Vincent's Kim Vincent's mother, our um, music director, has been tested positive for COVID. So please keep Kim and her mother. She's in a, um, a living facility uh, in I think Anniston area, but um, please keep Kim and her mother in your prayers. And somebody else has left me now. Okay, I need to write them down so I don't forget. But um, please remember that. And on Sunday, we will have communion. And all of those in the building will have communion during the worship service. But if you are joining us from home and you would like to receive the elements, you are welcome to come drive through, wear your mask, and come drive through the church parking lot between 1130 and 1230. I'll be out there and I'll have elements um, if you've already watched the service and you just want to uh, share communion right there with me, we can, we can do that. I'll say a prayer. Um, but 
you, if you haven't watched the service yet, then you can pick up the elements. They'll actually be pre-blessed and you can take them home with you. When you watch the service, then you can commune at the same time um, that the, the rest of the congregation is in, in the video that you're watching. So um, I hope that you'll enjoy communion with us on Sunday in one of those ways, either in the building or come drive through the parking lot. And now you can say go in peace. <laughs> go in peace. Roll Tide, <clears throat> War Eagle, Go Blue Devils. <clears throat> that about covers it. Okay. Have a good week. Love to everybody. Take care of yourself. See you next time. Go and be the light.